So this question has shown us a, a straight line drawn on a, a graph and it's asking us to calculate the equation of the line. So, and it says give your answer in the form y equals mx plus c. So it's given us um, a bit of hint that we're working with this general formula for the equation of straight line. So things that we need to remember then are that in y equals mx plus c, then m is the gradient of the line, how steep it is, and c is known as the intercept point. So basically on any straight line, then c is where the uh, graph um, crosses the y-axis when x is where 0, or whatever axis it is vertical, um, the horizontal number must be 0. And the gradient is the change for every one across um, you go on the horizontal axis, then you'll go up the gradient um, m. So basically uh, the concept is that to find the gradient we have a formula, um, we do the change in the y coordinates uh, to divide by the change in the x coordinates and basically we choose two coordinates on the line and it could be any two coordinates so I could have chosen those two there and we end up doing the difference in the uh, y coordinates divided by the difference in the x coordinates. So for this line I'm going to choose these two coordinates, I'm going to choose that one and that one. I could have chosen this one up here. I'm just choosing coordinates that I can read off nicely. I could have chosen this one here. Um, really didn't matter. I just got to choose two of them. So basically, um, this coordinate is 0, 1, and this coordinate is 2, 5. So to calculate the gradient, then I'm going to do 5 take away 2 because this was my y, uh, x2, y2 values. This was my x1, y1 value. Um, so 5 take away 2 for the difference in the y coordinates, and then 2 take away 0 for the difference in the x coordinates. So we end up with 3 over 2, 1.5. Now, quite often with um, gradients, it's better to leave them as fractions, but um, we'll leave it as a decimal in this particular case. And the c value, the intercept point, is when x is 0. Well, we've already got that, so this coordinate here tells us that the c value is 1. It's the y part of the coordinate when x is 0. So our answer for this question then is y equals 1.5x plus 1. Now we should check that we've calculated this correctly um, because whatever this um, equation is for the straight line, it has to work for every coordinate. So if I take this coordinate here, uh, 4, 8, then if it works, if this equation works, then when I put the x value of 4 in, I should get the y answer of 8. So basically, um, we're going to say, okay, I can see straight away that this is wrong. Um, good reason to check, of course, because 1.5 times 4 is 6, and plus 1 is 7, not 8. And then when I check back here, um, 5 take away 2 is not correct, because the y1 value was actually 1. So this is the reason why we check, guys, because we can make silly mistakes. So 5 take away 1 is actually 4, and 4 divided by 2 is actually 2. Um, therefore, this will be 2. Now if I check, I can see that uh, the y value is 2 times 4 um, plus 1. And again, I check my coordinate here is for 9. Okay, and this will be 4, 9. So 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. And so my check has now worked. And hence the reason that you go through and do this checking and you go back through. So the final answer on the answer line will be y equals 2x plus 1. OK, so that's how that question could be answered. Obviously, it's important to do the checking um, because silly mistakes can be made. Uh, we're all human and everything else. So do do the checking, guys.